Hey there folks, Ilya, Engine Chief Marketing Officer here. Let's take a look at Engine Quest, the demo we showed at GDC. Engine Quest is a simple dungeon crawler and it's a blockchain based game. The main quest is straightforward, just find and pick up some amulet fragments, forge a key and open a door. Let's follow our character as he explores the dungeon. Ok, we got the first amulet fragment. Every item that you pick up has its value backed in engine coin and actually shows up in your wallet. You can send items to other players and even melt them back to engine coin. Our goal with Engine Quest was to help game developers understand true ownership. All of the items that you pick up would actually show in the engine wallet, meaning they are on the blockchain and truly yours instead of being locked in a centralized database. Developers had fun melting stuff back to engine coin and to be honest it was amazing to see items appear in the wallet as you collect them in the game. And the melting feature is actually a great value proposition for gamers making them way more likely to purchase an item in game because they truly own it and can always melt it back to engine coin. Ok so now we found all key fragments and some gold as well. And we need to head back to the Altar Venge so we can get the Master Key. Uh, here you need to pay for the Master Key with one Engine Coin. And how do you get it? Melt some stuff of course. Let's throw some gold into the fire. This part of the demo shows the security and payment features of Engine Coin. A player has to approve the transaction request. The main reason we had to make sure that the Engine Wallet is the most secure in the world is the real life value of Engine Coin backed items. There's a lot at stake here, so we wanted to get as close to a hardware wallet as possible on a mobile device. Ok, now that we got the master key, let's go up and get the legendary treasure. In GDC, I talk with more game developers than I can count and I'd always take my time to explain the intrinsic value of gaming items. So, a gaming item that is rare or unique can be sold for many times more than its engine backed value. Take this legendary sword for example, it could be sold for a thousand or even tens of thousands of engine coins, even though its backed value is only 15 inch. And that's because it's unique and well it's forged from the blood of a thousand dragons, who doesn't want to play like that? What's really interesting about items you got in Engine Quest is that they would actually show up in your Minecraft inventory as well, meaning that we also demonstrated Engine Coin's capability to build gaming multiverses. So thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this quick walkthrough and remember, E is for Engine.